we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We are continuing with Fade Tactics. Hopefully you guys are on board and ready and eager to check it all out. I'm I'm definitely all of those things. It is time, and it's also Monday, ironically enough. So we basically were all prepared, and we just need to continue where we left off at. So let's start the battle and begin. Spawn your babies. Yeah. There's a fair few folks around here. Do we have double boss action here? Is that what we're looking at? Hmm. In battles with two or more enemy leaders, you can gain bonus experience by wounding the enemy leaders without killing them. The bonus is only granted if at least two enemy leaders are alive at the end of the battle. That's interesting. I wonder how far we, hmm, like how much we have to do in order to actually wound them. Because it seems like that's going to be a little bit more of a challenge than uh, one might think. Alright, let's delay your turn, friend. Let's roll out over here and attack this guy. Boop! Choose that direction. You guys gonna go buff happy over there? Is that what we're looking at? I feel like it might be. All right, let's go ahead and excommunicate you from the universe. Bonding, assist power, yay. Oh, bye bye birdie. Well, the witch lady is ready to do the deed. What the deed is, is I'm, I'm not entirely certain, but ready nonetheless. Anti-air? Ooh, it's not even enough. Interesting. I thought for sure that would have been enough. What if we go from here? Can we attack from the high ground? A little bit better. 9% chance to evade. I'll take it. It's a doggo's turn to, to roll out again. I guess we're going to go here. The old spitting lizard. Uh, I don't know. 16. Looks like it's actually going to be just enough. Fare thee well. Alright, and then we get you. So we're going to reinforce. Be coming after Doggo. That's not cool, man. What hath the doggo ever done to you? I think I'm going to move here and I am going to attack the guy with the doggo. Um, yeah, we're going to roll over here and unfortunately we're not going to do a tremendous amount of damage. A little bit on the weak side, but it's all good. So wounding the enemy is apparently a thing that we need to attempt to do at this point. I suppose I'm here for it. Alright, we kind of obliterated a fool. I, I mean, I guess that's good. Took down the other Birdo. Papaya Chin is, uh... Take his high ground, uh... Spot and move it. All right, we did some work there. That's pretty good. And unfortunately, we don't have much that we're gonna do with. I mean, we could hit him again, but it's gonna really hurt him, and I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and get my sure shot going. My little squirrel man's is gonna come on up here and just chillax. I guess here we're gonna we're gonna assist you there. Oh, yeah, that works. That's smart. That's a good move. I like it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to just... Oh, hold on. Oh, we're going to... We're going to get the item. We're going to buff everyone up. It's going to be great. 
we move here, we're gonna get this item. And we're gonna go ever closer to, ooh, True Sight. I don't know what that really does, but apparently it's a thing. All right, we're gonna haste a unit, we're gonna haste you. Hopefully you're down with that. Move over here. It's kind of chillax. Get a little chain action going on over here. Oh, you're coming down to play, are you? I'm gonna return that to you. Give you a little receipt, if you will. Hopefully we don't demolish this person. All right. Fortunately, the leaping lizard can't quite make it to where he's trying to go. A good old papaya chin is gonna come over here and throw a hit. Oh, he can't actually. I suppose he's just gonna wait. Hmm. Reinforce. Get all buffed up and super strong. Spitting on the doggo. I think I may just chill. I am her protector. All right, you're gonna roll on over there, friend. It's good times. Did something just pop out of a house? They did. Well, that was unfun. I'm actually glad that you did that when you did that, because that would have been much worse had you done that like literally two seconds later. We're gonna go ahead and drop this on you. You evaded it. That's that's. It's well done. But unfortunately for you, you're getting back attacked, and that's gonna really, really hurt you. Hmm. I sorta need to take this guy down now, unfortunately. It was like he kinda came out of nowhere type situation. Hi Chin's going to heal up our boy. And I don't really know what to do with you. Reinforce, I guess. You're gonna spit on the doggo again. I mean, I don't really have anything I need to do here. Just keep keeping on, I guess. How low do we have to get you? And I assume we need to take that guy down too at some point. That's some sort of weird healing thing going on there. All sorts of crazy. Alright, he took a little bit of damage. Um, I'm gonna say we can probably take this one down right here. Alright, now they're wounded. How wounded is wounded though? Like, like how low do we have to get you? I feel like I'm gonna kill either. I might. I won't kill you actually. You're fine. I'll hurt you, but I won't kill you. And I. It looks like I will kill you if I do. Hmm. I want to make sure I'm actually... Am I hitting the doggo? There we go. No, I was on weight. That's not what I wanted. I will obliterate this one. Alright, so how do we... Huh. How do we manage this? Alright, so, in theory, it's going to come down to you. Your back attack will kill him too. Like, alright, well, I guess I have no choice, right? Oh, is it wounded like that? Is that what it is? Like that kind of wound? Is that the kind of wound you're talking about? We're gonna make sure 
that we oh we can only do one per turn. That's true. That's true. All right, we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna look cool. I don't think we can reach him. No. But we got it. Mr. Doggo says, "Good day, sir." So they're both wounded by being kneeled. So they're they're knocked out, but they haven't been completely defeated. I understand. So the subdued leaders. Th okay, okay, it makes sense. I thought like they just had to be wounded, wounded, not like knocked down, kneeling, wounded, to where they could be resurrected or healed or whatever the case is or brought back. I understand. I get it. All right, not too bad. Triple the level ups across the board. We got a level up for you. We got a level up for you. And a level up for you. We got a um, couple of untouchable scrolls and an Arctic growth scroll. Interestingly enough. All right, and now the Valley of Queens. Heralia, that necklace does not belong to you. I remember you. Didn't you run away last time we met? Why so brave all of a sudden? You had a better chance fighting with the rest of your tribe when they were alive. I wasn't running away. The necklace. You will give it to me now. Uh, I got some lozenges if you'd like. Cough drops? I don't know what you want to call them. It's fine. Oh! Ho ho! Why don't you come and take it? Yes. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do it. Duplicate magic scrolls increase the scrolls level. Use traits menu to equip scrolls under party leaders. Yeah. Plus 22 EVD. We've got some evasion going on there. For all ice allies. Eh, we're gonna probably do this. Alright, I am gonna get one point here. Chico says, all attack, all the time. Papaya Chin's like, eh. We're going to get to tier one or whatever this is, and then we're going to switch over to maybe another special, another physical or offense, and then we'll go back to defense. I think that's going to be fine. Could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Definitely crazy. It's fine. All right, let us begin. Come forth, my babies. We have a work to do. Yes, we do. Buff of each other up. I care not. No retreat. That wasn't cool. I did not appreciate that. There is no retreating during a boss battle. If any of your leaders are wounded and then defeated, the battle is lost. Alright. Boop! Boop! Very nice. Alright, I would very much like to go over here and uh, slapify you upside the noggin. Upside the face noggin, yes. Ooh, frosty. Gremlin hunter. Uh, I guess I'll go here. Attack this one. There it is. Another one of those. All right, you're gonna roll out and you're gonna. That's it. That's all you had. Come on now. Even I could have done better than that. Here, hold this for seven. Not a lot of damage coming out on you, but that's okay. All right, we got this still coming. Nope, oh, that was. Uh... There it is. A win-win right there. Toodles! Alright, Wundle plus Wundle equals Toodles! Um. Let me go ahead and buff you up with a little bit of an energy shield. Or a mana barrier, as you like to call it. Aw, oh, you ate our food, man. That's not cool. Alright, so how are we gonna go about this? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to eventually climb up this way and do some stuff. 
so. They're just having a nice little buff fest over there, aren't they? Got him. Gremlin Hunter would be. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Like the Gremlin Hunter would be unstoppable. But the Gremlin Hunter is fine, actually. Alright, and whoop, full heal. Very good, Papaya Chin. Get our Leaping Lizard up here. Get him to Leap. And to Lizard, I guess. Not real sure what we're doing with you. Maybe a path up over this way, and maybe we take that path. Like I don't, I don't know that we can get up here. Trains want. I mean, like you should be able to, right? One would think. How scary this, this boss battle is gonna be. Alright, we're gonna haste ourselves, I dare say. Oh, even cloak our doggo. Yeah, give me that sweet level up. What? His mana shield's getting pretty high up there. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting a bit excessively high. We're chilling. Gonna we'll wait with our leaping lizard. Not real sure what our little guy's gonna do there, but he's he's trying. All right, doggo, let's go. Oh, okay, hold on. Got to hit him with a violent gale first. You know how we do. Oh, he evaded. That's not great, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. No. I want you up here. Are you on the high ground? It's hard to tell. It looks like like I'm seen through you, but no, I guess you're on the high ground. I suppose that's fine. Oh, yes, yeah, just a little baby. I figured we were going to have to start taking care of some babies. And it looks like we indeed do. So, oh, oh, you jumped down. Oh. Okay, not 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 what I was expecting. Full disclosure. It was a bit of a surprise for me. They've decided to leap down and become a nuisance, huh? Appreciate you. Can I hit from here? I cannot. I guess I'll get the item. Now our lizard boy should be able to hit from up here. Oh my god, we do so much damage. Holy heck. Uh, I guess we can do this. Oh no, I turned my back. Oh no. That was a mistake. Okay, Doggo got hit a little bit there. We're gonna go here. The crazy Lady McGee here, and we're gonna blast this fool. Getting a little bit of a chain attack off. Getting a little bit of a combo going. I'm a little bit saddened by the fact that the combo actually hit the way it did. Good. The reason I'm a little bit sad by the way the combo hit is I mean, it was relatively obvious. Um, but I wanted to make sure that the flying harpy lady wasn't looking in the direction of the lizard. But it doesn't look like it matters too much. There's a 12% chance to evade. I mean, I could move 
Maybe over here? Hundred and seventeen. Hundred and two. And what if what if I move back one? Can I still reach? No. Alright, well I guess I'll just take it. Taking the shot. It did. Follow up was there too, cold snap. Okay, you froze one of my my characters, I, I guess that's fine. I got a lot that I'm gonna be able to, to bring here, but seventy mm. percent blind. Interesting. I know our little guy doesn't have much that he's able to do, but he's trying. He's definitely trying. I'm gonna see if I can't do something to this guy. I blinded him at least. I mean, not real sure what that does, but it is a thing. Back attack 40. Let's get rid of this guy. We said good day, sir. Ouch. The evasion is real. Gonna go ahead and throw a heal from Papaya Chin right over there. And I guess we're gonna attempt to finish you off with our fire spitting, jumping lizard man of doom. The leaping lizard. You got it. Alright. Somehow they felt like Papaya Chin was the uh, MVP. I feel like that's not true. If we look at just like sheer damage, now granted there were several heals and stuff. He, he didn't he didn't do nothing, but our leaping lizard did a lot more. I'm I'm just saying, our leaping lizard was definitely the MVP. He did like over 300 damage to the boss. I mean, like how do you combat that? Not well, I would assume. Whoa, wait, please don't kill me. Here, the necklace is yours. The power is yours. You think this will buy you your life? I was going to take it back after killing you anyway. I have information you want. J just hear me out. Mm. Speak. Your tribe kept to themselves, and you were always on the move. When I attacked, was it not the perfect time to do so? Your people had just stopped to rest, and your strongest warriors had set off to hunt. How do you think we knew when and where to strike? Get to the point. Don't you see it was one of your own? A centaur gave us your tribe's migration patterns. They told us about the sacred basilisk emerald your tribe held. And its ability to grow food in the most inhospitable areas of the Doro Wastes. Doro? Doro? Eh. I could not pass up such a prize. How dare you tell me these lies? I have no reason to lie, because I was betrayed too. During the raid, the traitor made off with the emerald. They used me as a distraction to steal it for themselves. Leave the necklace and get out of my sight before I change my mind. Did she just jump into the water? Are you sure we should let her go? I didn't ask you. I have what I came for. Let her flee. For now. Child, I did not ask for your help. But I am grateful for it. You've helped reclaim what was taken from me. Eh, I don't mention it. That's just what I do. So, uh, are you going back home now? This necklace is all, I ha all that is left of my home. Peralia destroyed everything I knew. All that I've ever loved. I have nowhere left to go. Honestly. I fully intended to join the rest of my people when I came to this place. I owe you a great debt. I am called Orowantus. May I ask your name? My name is Peony. 
What? It would seem fate has a sense of humor. Uh, what? It's just... My sister would often scold me for wasting my time with flowers. I wasn't around when Heralia and her bandits first attacked. Earlier that day, I had snuck off to gather flowers. When I returned, it was too late. She was... Everyone was dead. This necklace was hers. If I had been there, I probably would have died as well. When you told me your name just now, I thought to myself, my life was saved by flowers once again. Oh, uh, I see. Take care of yourself, Peony. At least until I can repay you for what you've done for me. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that. Or you could just join us. Like, I'm I'm totally down with, like... There seems to be some room here for a little bit more adjoining action. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Alright. There we go. Uh, what else do we get? We got a uh, plus three base attack for all melee allies. We're up to 26 evasion. That's cool, though. I like the way they do that. That's nice. All right, Chico, continue your winning ways, my friend. Two. All right, that's fine. All right, hold on. I'm curious now. So what it seems is once we hit these different milestones, as we get that top number. So our crit damage goes up by 10, right? Go to our boy here. It's at a 5%. As soon as we go beyond that threshold, it goes back down. So in order for us to get... I guess with her... Movement. To get one extra move jump. We need to put 5 points into it in order to get that. And to increase heal. Okay, okay. I get it now. I understand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It looks like Rockfall Valley is far behind us now. We also have Yago's Descent that we can go to, or we can go back and just do a free battle at the Valley of Queens if we wanted to. I'm probably going to make my way down to Ingenton or Ingenton or Ingenton or something along those lines. Uh, I'll probably do that next episode. I think that's going to be the play. Alright folks, hope you guys are enjoying. Like I said, I'm having a blast with the game. I've had a lot of fun, and I plan to continue to play. And hopefully you plan to continue to watch. Anyway folks, till the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.